What is going on guys? We are back with episode 2 of my Monster Hunter 1 playthrough. Um, now if you remember where we left off, uh, these are all the quests that we completed. We did this one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one. Uh, I did some farming off screen. Um, so a few of these quests we're going to be able to complete pretty um, rapidly actually. And I pick some mushrooms. Get some cubby horns and help the festival for the steaks and the wyvern egg. So we're gonna go ahead and um, those weld on the steaks out of the way first. Like it once we go out, we're just gonna go ahead and start. Next, we'll, we'll bring all of that. We have two already. Uh, we're gonna keep those for ourselves. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then we're going to save the river wyvern egg for last. So let's go ahead and, and hop right into this. Did some mining also, uh, and I got a few pieces of ore. I really didn't do it due to anything that would, you know, change the way I'm playing the game from what you saw previously. I really don't like to watch a let's play and then one episode they're like, you know, like way back here and then you get to the next one and they're like geared with like a completely different outfit of armor it's like dude what are you doing like i wanted to see that let's go ahead and, and start it's not too hard if you give it give it like an upwards angle looking down on it i would have done all of this Watch me do this five times, but part of the let's play, man. It's in the game. You got to see it. And a lot of these missions are just to prepare you so that you'll be um, more inclined to do these things later in the game. Well done stakes are pretty essential for uh, long missions. Now, I really could not wait to get this new episode out to you guys. Uh, I'm really enjoying myself doing this. Uh, I thought it would be more of a chore. But, um, it's really been pretty fun. I mean, I don't feel like I'm being forced to do it at all. Or, like, pressured by any time constraints. I'm just pretty much having fun with it. And I screwed that one up. Dang it. I talk too much. Yeah, Let's Plays, uh, they were- It was kind of intimidating, uh, in the beginning. I thought that I was gonna start this and then, uh, kind of, uh, like, I don't know, maybe stuck in a schedule where I have to do it. But I'm just playing the game essentially, and you guys are just watching me. Uh, I thought about making a webcam along with this, but it would just be me staring at a screen. I wouldn't really be looking at you guys at all. So. Or, unless you want that I mean unless you just want to like look at me staring at the screen like the whole time like I'm totally fine with that um, kind of weird but I mean if that's what you're into I mean more power to you um I didn't realize yesterday but I actually um recorded for 53 minutes and then in that video I was talking about if you want a longer video next time I completely got ahead of myself and lost track of the fact that I had been recording for almost an hour <laughs> without any pauses. That was kind of like, uh, it was weird. I didn't realize I'd talk to myself for that long. And that's essentially what I'm doing right now. I mean, I'm talking to you guys, but really I'm talking to myself. There's no one else here. But yeah, I had fun. As long as I'm having fun, man, I'll make as many videos as I possibly can. I really not doing too much other than working right now and I work part-time or full-time depending on the week uh, I'm a lifeguard and, and because of that some weeks I work more oh my god we got armor seeds and power seeds I didn't even know we could get those we're gonna save those for later actually nice I forgot exactly what I was saying oh yeah my job yeah my job is pretty weird uh, some weeks I'll work like 60 hours in one week and others like this week I've only worked one day Pretty weird. Uh, I still live at home. Uh, I'm only uh, 18. I'll be 19 fairly soon. But I'm still living at home. I'm going to college. And, and I decided that um, 
I would be the smart guy and stay at home and just drive and commute to class. And which is fine. I mean, I only live like 15, 20 minutes away from my school max. And so it's not too much of a drive for me. Um, I never thought, you know, I would go to a university. I didn't really feel like that was the path for me. Um, just because I really don't like people. I really don't like people. I didn't really want to move all the way to university. And plus I'm broke. Really broke. And I don't want to have to pay back like $40,000 of student loans so I can get education somewhere else. So I decided it would be best for me to just um, go to school from home. That way. I'm actually in business, but I thought about changing my major to a type of uh, visual arts. Like computer programming or editing. Something like that. Because I really love this. Um, if I could make it a job, uh, like a full-time job, I would love to be a uh, like a computer mechanic. Or, um... I don't even know what you call those guys. Completely having a brain fart. Computer technician! Yeah, that. If I could choose any job, it'd probably be that. Just because, you know, I can pretty much work my own hours and work from home if I feel like it. That's more my style. I really like to be able to just wake up, and there are tons of Bullfango in this area. But I, I just like to be able to... I like control of my life, okay? I don't like to have to listen to somebody else telling me what to do. Maybe that's because I'm super young. But even still, don't tell me what to do, dude. Leave me alone, you know? I'm gonna have to kill these guys. It's gonna have to happen. Way around it. I just hit all three of them with that, dude. I am like. I forgot that these guys were in this area. I thought this would be a really quick mission, but it's probably gonna take a little bit longer. Oh my god. I just got like piles drived. episode 2, but I still don't know the exact Die. Ha ha! Yeah, still am in the controls for this. Uh, I'm using an Xbox controller uh, instead of a PlayStation controller just because of the fact that I didn't have USB cord long enough for my PS2 controller. And the Xbox controls really aren't that much different. Um, regular ones. I just moves a little bit. And there was only one special mushroom here. For serious? Now, I know a few mushroom spots. Uh, so, I'm not really worried about it. Killed all those Bofango for nothing. Super depressing. Back to what I was talking about, uh, computer technician. I just think that's a pretty fairly easy job um, obviously you know every now and then you're gonna have some diagnostic problems that take you a little bit I mean I don't want to do any coding shit I just want to be like the guy that you take your mom's computer to because you don't know how to get the viruses off and she doesn't know how simple job I think they make pretty good money uh I know some places, just for a diagnostic, it's like a hundred dollars, like, Jesus Christ. And that's just a look at it, that's not, that's before they even do anything to it. You can really make a killing, uh, if I, you know, personally own my own business like that, I wouldn't want to fuck people over like that. And who knows, maybe because, you know, I have my business degree, I'll go on and, and make my own computer business, or computer... I think life should be like that, you know, you 
you choose what you do. I, I hate seeing people that are unhappy and dead in jobs and, and they don't feel like they have, you know, any other options because you really always have an option. Uh, you can reinvent yourself at 18, 30, 40 years old, 50 years old. It really doesn't matter how old you are. If you decide to make a change, you can do it. There's no one stopping you but you. I know that sounds a little profound. What? Bro, he just spawned like right in front of my face. Endless raw meat. Yeah, from an early age, I told myself I refused to live my entire life working for someone else. That's just not what I see for myself. Now, there are plenty of people that, you know, they're fine with that as long as they can go home every afternoon and, and do what they want to do on their own time, you know. Power to them. If that's what they want to do, then do what you want to do. I don't try to tell anybody what to do as long as they're happy, you know. But that's like really it for me as long as you're happy do what you want man Don't let anybody stop you from doing anything that makes you happy For a long time I, I was around toxic people and I let them really influence uh, My ideology of happiness and I thought I was happy when I really wasn't But it, it's it's good to realize that and you are giving that back, you little shit face. I forgot. Can't come through here. Ah, okay, we gotta go. We gotta like bolt out of here. They've been bad. I only have like two of those things. And there's nothing else here. How many more of these do we need? I think there was some in seven. There's herbs here though. I think there's some in six actually. Because there's moss wine in six. I don't know if I've talked about it previously. Also, uh, we'll talk about this. Felvine, uh, you keep that in your inventory if you're ever going to be around those little guys that stole my armor seed. Uh, instead of stealing your items, they'll just steal the Felvine instead. to you know run around trying to uh, capture them or kill them rather now, I've invested countless hours in the Monster Hunter series um, not just you know in Monster Hunter 1 but all the way back to, all the way up till um, for you uh, I think the most time I've ever put into any of these games was probably Monster Hunter try uh, I remember one spring uh, me and my nephew uh, we stayed actually was spring break to you. I think we played this game 12 hours straight every day at least at least eight hours a day Boss of prey uh, I don't think I'll make the armor set but maybe I will But yeah, we play that game religiously like every single day. I think when they closed the servers down for that game, I had invested over 3,000 hours. I was HR um, 842. It's kind of sad that I didn't max out my HR, but... And maybe on Monster Hunter Worlds, I will. Um, I have to sharpen as soon as I kill this last guy. Yeah, if your sharpness gets too low, uh, you start to bounce off the enemies. That's a thing. You won't do any damage. <laughs> or 
apartment as often as possible. And now I wouldn't consider myself, you know, the most knowledgeable of the Monster Hunter universe, obviously, but I, I think I have more knowledge about it than most, so I, I feel like if, if we were to hold a conversation about Monster Hunter, up until at least, you know, a double cross, valuable information. I have to go back to area 10 or something and kill one boss line there. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to end up doing that, sadly. But that's that's just how it goes sometimes. You can also uh, mine because I think I still have some pickaxes. Yep. Did some mining off stream, but I didn't upgrade my weapon until. Uh, I'm gonna do it in this video. I don't like doing things like that when you can't. I know it's a pretty minuscule thing, but it's important to me. Um, I know when I, I try to make this Let's Play a Let's Play that I would, you know, enjoy. And I try not to do things that I would not enjoy in my own Let's Play in another person's Let's Play that I'm watching, if that makes sense. Yeah. I try not to make mistakes that I see other people making. Yeah, that's, that's more what I mean. Kind of hard for me to talk like this. But I think I'm getting better at it. Uh, I'm not rambling so much. I'm finding topics off the top of my head, and I have no script. I just talk. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just say whatever I feel like saying, and a lot of times it's just random bullshit that goes through my head, but sometimes I say things that aren't. We actually mined a good bit uh, one time, and now there's literally nothing there. Oh, I actually could have went up through that area. I think these guys respawn every single time. Probably gotta take some rations soon because I do not like my stamina bar depleting. I think rations don't last as long as um, well done steaks either, so that's another benefit of using well done steaks instead of rations. I don't think there's any mushrooms in forest, so I'm not even gonna waste my time going there. We're just gonna go straight to 10. I don't know how many quests we're gonna do in this episode. Um, uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a fourth wall break. Uh, I set a timer on my phone. When that timer is up, I am gonna cut the episode because the timer's set for 30 minutes. And if I go any longer than 30 minutes, I, I don't know if anyone's gonna watch. And plus, it, it, it honestly, it lets me make my series a little bit longer episode wise which I think looks better for my channel oh there's one right there let's get the last one from them I don't like making like sh really short episodes though I don't believe in that if I'm gonna make an episode I don't wanna if I'm gonna wait a whole day for an episode I don't want it to be like a seven minute episode you know that's gone in a second I want it to be like a valuable like a lot of information in it like a big part of my day I want to spend on or just watch it throughout the day, you know? Because you know not everybody has 50 minutes of the day to sit down and watch a Let's Play. But there are some people that do. And to those, I appreciate you. I know you don't have a job. So either you're really poor, or you're really rich. And I'm gonna link my PayPal in the description, if you're the latter, so you can give me some money. Because... 
I would really appreciate it because I'm broke as shit all the time. I didn't realize how much money goes into building a computer until I started building mine. Uh, currently, I'm running a, I think a i7. No, I don't think I know. I'm running an i7, 6700, not the K. And then along with that, I'm using a 960. Not the best graphics card uh, by any standard, but it's mine. Eventually, I plan on upgrading it to a 1080. Hopefully, you know, uh, if I ever make money off of this YouTube thing, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that out loud. Eventually, I think people do make money. I don't know at what <laughs> pay rate, and I don't really care as long as I can afford the GTX 1060 or 1080 rather. Pretty much happy. I, I don't do this for money. I just have fun. Now, I can't lie to you. I do like the attention. I do like that people watch me. I think it's pretty cool. I think everybody likes attention, though. To an extent. I mean, there are a lot of people out there that are pretty modest about it. And, and act like they don't like... Oh, don't, I don't want to be in the spotlight. But, dude, I'm pretty sure everybody wants to be in the spotlight. That's just how it is. Um, and I try to be as real with you guys as possible. Um... I don't put on any fake shit here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure people can sense that. Uh, I can sense it, honestly. I don't know if this is bad what I'm doing, because I really haven't talked much about the gameplay this entire time. But, uh, yeah. So we need one more mushroom, and we can't find it anywhere. And I am, like, freaking out. There's the moss mine. Give me the mushroom. Blue one. There's moss wine here. There should be mushrooms here. That's not even a mushroom bush. There's not even mushrooms here. Does it make sense? Like a billion of them here. What the heck? I think I broke the game. That would have been nice to know earlier. The only way I found that was just like holding the item find button over every spot. I can actually show off the feline. Watch. Wait. Like an hour. And then he digs underground and leaves. Now the game supplies you with um, potions at the beginning of missions, these first aid med kits, but um, if that's not enough for you, which it usually isn't, um, you can potions uh, and turn a regular potion into a super potion. All you need is to come here, hive is, collect honey. Find your honey with your potion and then it gives you a super potion. They're pretty beneficial. Um, now, I won't wa make you guys watch, but I'm going to actually collect a shit ton of honey uh, off stream or off stream off um, YouTube. So I'll have enough and won't have to worry about it. When I was younger, though, I never collected anything. I just balls to the wall. Like if I died, I died. Oh, fucking well. But now I like to keep things in order. about, you know, my... You can actually sell special mushrooms for, I think it's like 80 zenny or, or 60 zenny a piece. And we collected like... How many extra? Three? So we should get about $240 from that. Just from that. But yeah. Um, took it a little bit longer than I would have liked it to take. But, um, it happens. I think we're going to do, like, one or two more quests and call it a day. We actually aren't going to get to the egg one. Um, we'll probably make the egg 
video its own video and then right after that we'll kill our um hr or hr <laughs> i'm thinking of another game our urgent quest for the two star urgent i think we actually have enough money now to upgrade our weapon and so we'll do that before we end the video also but we'll go kill the kelby and then we will Uh, I don't know if you saw already, but in the previous video in the description, I linked exactly how you can play this game. Lots of people would love to play now on their computer. Yeah, so it's in the description. It's it, it's not my video. It's some random person on YouTube's video, but um, I put it there so you guys can what I do. Make your own Let's Play need to get what do we need oh I need to press this button we need to get our earth crystals and our iron ore out of the vault Hopefully we'll do that after Kelby five Kelby horns have to wyvern's nest yeah so that works out And this isn't too hard of a quest. Um, you just kill. They're like um, miniature elk, or like what is that African Zimbabwe animal? It looks like a deer. I'll think of it later. If you know what um animal I'm talking about, please leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll just be looking all over the internet antelope maybe no <laughs> antelope i feel like antelope isn't a real animal this is like i'm saying cantaloupe but maybe it is but this is what they look like Probably horn. I don't know why, but there's this weird superstition that if you carve them anywhere other than their face, that you don't get the Kelby horn. I'm gonna carve this one in the in the butt, and we'll see if we get the horn. Okay, we got it. So I guess I just disproved this. But when I was younger, I would like never carve them anywhere but like the tip of their head because I thought that if I didn't, then I wouldn't get. This best boy does not know how to leave me alone, and that's what happens if you get hit enough times by a best boy. I thought he would leave me alone, but die today. Oh, we can actually carve it. Usually they fade into nothing. Carve this guy. We got monster fluid. That's actually a rare pickup. Nice. Sell those for like 500 zinni, I think. We actually got three Kelby horns already. It's just like pretty random. You usually are a little bit harder to get. Miss that entire combo. There's another monster in this game that actually moves around like the Kelby does. Uh. Oh, Kieran, and it's like a um, a legendary uh, horse, kind of like a pony, because it's so small. But um, it's white, and it's 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 essentially a unicorn. It has a horn and everything. Uh, but sadly, you can't play it in the offline version of this game, or you can't fight it in the offline version. It's an online-only monster, Monster Hunter One. Which kind of sucks. If I could show it off, I definitely would. Maybe later on, I will um, play Monster Hunter Free Me Night and be able to. Uh... Now, I don't know if I want to get into that game because that game is way longer than Monster Hunter 1. Like, I mean, it is long. If you do every single quest, man, 
I'll be at like 900 episodes, or not 900, maybe like 90 episodes if I do like the guild hall and everything all the way to HR9, which I totally could do by myself, but um, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> we'll see how this series goes along and how much time I have left before the launch of uh, Dauntless. And then after that, you like, I don't know how I'm going to juggle Dauntless and Monster Hunter World. Um, I'll make a video talking about um, how they affect each other later on, but um, I, I'm scared for Dauntless like a little bit. Um, obviously, it's a PC game, so you know it has that community. But I don't know, Monster Hunter World looking pretty promising, but you know it doesn't come out for a while after. So at least Dauntless will get the startup money. Um, if everyone, I don't think everyone's gonna leave. You know, there's always be the people that stick around. Um, for Dauntless, or uh, for like the original game, they, you know, veterans and things like that. And I bought the Founders Edition, so you know I'm gonna be playing that game uh, religiously. But I'm I can't lie, when Monster Hunter World comes out, boy, I'm gonna be on top of it like every day, new video, new video, new video. That's great for me because I'm getting all this content. Like it's great for content creators, not just me, but you know other channels and bigger channels. Um, yeah. And that was the, uh, the Kelby mission. Uh, I'll probably record the uh, egg gathering mission today too, but you probably won't see it today. Um, you'll probably see it um, tomorrow because we are actually reaching our time limit. Uh, I just checked my phone and we have 15 seconds left. So before we hit that 30 minute mark, we have to get our shit out of here. Uh, earth crystals. And, yep, that's the timer. <laughs> Our earth crystals. Exactly how rare monster. Uh, you, see, you see the rarity right below the item icon. That uh, feline, felvine is a rarity one. Toadstool is two. Blood and stake is two. Um, a power seed is two, earth crystal is four, and so is monster fluid. Now, I think you sell those for a pretty high price, actually. Um, monster fluid do not come by cheap. Sell it for like 500 jenny in this game, I'm not sure, but let's see. I'm definitely not selling it because I need it, jenny isn't that hard to come by. Yeah, 500. Pretty expensive item. Or, you can make a servant bite, but... Go ahead and upgrade. We lose our sharpness, but we gain uh, I think eight damage. Yeah, twenty-eight damage. Next is a hunter's dagger plus. We get our green sharpness back, and yeah, we only need a couple earth crystals and iron ore. And it can la la la. the design completely. Uh, if you look at it now, it looks more like a sickle. But all right, guys, uh, I just want to thank you again for watching. Uh, on our next episode of the series, we are going to start on the egg carrying mission. We only have to get one, so it's not that bad. Uh, so we'll get that done, and then we'll do our two-star urgent. And then, uh, if you remember, I don't know if I sold it. I did. I... Okay. Well, if you remember from last episode. We got a Cutcu scale. It is not too long before we fight the Cutcu boss. So, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for staying till the end. Um, I would really appreciate it if you guys would give me a like, comment on what monster is your favorite out of the Monster Hunter One series or the Monster Hunter One game, not the series or the series. Give me your like overall favorite monster of all time. That's a better one, obviously, because there's like plenty more. But yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully tomorrow. So have a great one, and I'll see you next time. Later.